Hi class, it's Mr. Gilbert again. I guess it's time for an update on this piece that we're gonna go through from start to finish together. So I've made some progress. I've laid down some colors in the sky and I wanted to show you one of the techniques I use to control those edges, uh, especially up in here. Along there, I used uh, masking tape and then also when I was painting the, the ultramarine blue, I wanted to avoid this area so that was masked uh, masked off with tape as well. This area was masked off with tape when I did that section of the turquoise blue. And so uh, basically a couple tips with the tape is that um, some papers if you attach the tape um, when you remove it it will damage uh, the paper. So you always want to test it and make sure um, that uh, that doesn't happen. And if you are pulling uh, fibers off the paper too much and damaging the paper um, on your test piece, then what you can do is take your piece of tape and then attach it to an article of clothing maybe one or two times, and that'll take away some of the stickiness. It won't be quite so um, strong on the, on the glue, okay? You can also use your fingers and kind of touch it a few times like this and that'll kill some of the, uh, the excess glue on the tape. And then what I like to do to make sure I get a nice, uh, nice crisp edge is I, I use, this is a bone folder that I use in bookmaking. You could also use the back of a brush for this, but you just run it along the edge there and really tap that, that edge that you want to be nice and crisp. Get that tap down nice and hard so that it's really at well attached in that area. And that'll ensure that no um, pigment gets sucked up underneath, which can happen occasionally. Even if you do this, you'll sometimes get that effect. Um, but with watercolors, it's not too hard to erase that. Like this area got a little bit messy. So just a wet brush and a little patience in blotting it and it kind of cleaned that up nicely. But you'll see what happens is that, I've got that nice edge right there. We'll let that dry a little bit. Okay, and then when I remove the tape, I should have a nice clean edge that was protected. Okay, and that's what I did up in here in those areas to keep that nice and sharp. I also went in and attacked some of the moon and got, uh, I, I found a, a really nice photograph online and downloaded it, adjusted the contrast a little bit so that it suited my purposes and then drew from that. So I've got a nice little moon here um, and I've also finished these two sections down here since last time and the piece is coming along nicely. I think I'd like to put some silver point uh, grays up in the clouds to give a little more definition and we'll continue adding some colors. So until next time, see ya.